Hey guys, what's going on? This is my and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to install and play custom zombies on PC. I'm doing this on Windows 8 at the moment. Um, if you're on another Windows, then please comment and I'll try and help you that way. Um, if you're on Mac, I'm sorry, but I don't know how to help you there. But I'm sure there's another video somewhere on YouTube that will show you how to do that. So anyway then, um, to do this, you need to look at your file first. If you, if you have a folder with a bunch of files in, then you do it like I'm about to show you in a minute if you have an application then obviously make sure you trust the application first but if you and you know if it's all seems fine then uh, run the application and it does all this automatically for you so you know you don't have to do anything yourself really so anyway if you have the folder you want to go over to your um, libraries you want to go to your computer you want to go onto your hard drive where it'll be where your game will be installed you want to go over to your users your username uh, you want to go to app data now if you don't have this click on view this is for windows 8 click on view and click hidden items because you want to see the hidden items and if that doesn't work you can always go over to your search thing and search for app data that should work so anyway you got to click on that you go to local activision codable.war and mods you want to put your mods folder into here again if you have the application then it will just put it straight into here for you straight away so yeah, pretty easy that. Anyway guys, let's go over to World at War now and I'll show you guys how to um, actually launch the map and play the map. So hopefully this helped up to now. See you guys over there. Okay, so we're over at World at War now. Uh, you got to click on mods. You've got to find your mod name. Now I'm going to do two as an example um, to show you basically different types of launching. Um, so you got to click on your map name. That is not my map by the way, but you got to click on the map. And you want to click launch. Uh, by clicking launch, that then will close like the game window, and it will reopen it with your mod loaded. And um, obviously, if it's got these two, you know, or basically whatever button it's got here, if it does say you know like solo co-op, you want to click that, and obviously that then will launch you straight into your map. If it doesn't have these, in which some maps don't, um, you want to go back to mods. Well, you don't want to go back to mods, so you want to. I need to just change the map though to a map as an example, so one second. Right, okay, so here's a map for example that doesn't have that. It, you know, it just looks like there's nothing even that's been done, um, but it has been. Basically, what you want to do is you want to go over to options, game options, and enable console. It's got to be yes, so not no, but yes. Okay, so make sure that's yes. And then you want to look on your keyboard now. So you see where the top line of your letters are, and you have your numbers. And um, to the left of the one, um, just over the tab key and to the left of the one you'll see a um, bunch of symbols and a button you gotta press that and you'll see this command line open up at the top or whatever you want to call it basically you want to type forward slash map nazi zombie uh, nazi zom oh, I can't type anymore one second sorry about that <laughs> I accidentally clicked off my screen and then obviously your map name so this is area 51 like that so obviously if yours was for example I don't know um, abandoned school or whatever you know like for example that um, you do Nazi zombie abandoned school you know basically whatever your map name is so then you want to click enter and it will load it so yeah hopefully this helped you guys um, if you have any questions please do leave it in the comment section below and I'll be, um, I'll be answering some questions to help you guys out um, remember if your map doesn't load um, please you know go and check over the video again make sure you have installed it correctly you know make sure you've done everything out right if it still doesn't work let me know and I'll try and help you out there so yeah guys thanks for watching this and see you guys later